Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today we have something a little bit different for you. Usually we are reviewing performance parts on our cars and showing you guys what the differences are in terms of performance and BHP. Today we've got something a little bit behind the scenes for you. And we're gonna look at one of the tools that we use that helps us design, develop, and flash cars ECUs with our software and helps us with development. So the tool's called B-Flash and it allows us to read and write various ECUs and that's the engine control unit and also TCUs, which is the transmission control unit. So what we're gonna do is go through some of the functions that B-Flash has and show you how it's useful to us, just to give you something a little bit behind the scenes. So today we're gonna to look at the M2. So this is our M2 and we're going to read the TCU from this. So this car has DCT gearbox and up until recently, we weren't even able to read or write to the ECU, so we were not able to develop a tune for it. So everyone's been running the standard GTS tune that is available from BMW. So what we're gonna do is read the ECU out, show you how the B-Flash works, and in a later video, we'll show you the results of our development on the car. So if you come over to the car, we can see how it's all connected up. So we've got the B-Flash unit here, which is connected to the laptop and the software application is running. It's got a list of all the different ECUs and TCUs that this car can do. We've got a special loom here that's connected to the TCU plug on the car and it's also grounded over here to the chassis. So if I go over here and select the TCU that we need and then go ahead and identify it, so that makes sure that we've got a good connection. It's recognized the ECU, which is cool. Then we can go ahead and read that. So the reason for us wanting to develop a TCU tune for this DCT gearbox is to try and improve on the M4 GTS software, which is really good, by the way, in terms of shift speed, but also increase the clamping pressures on the clutch. And the reason for doing that is that we're fitting a crank hub fix to our FATM3, and we're also fitting a set of hybrid turbos, and we're gonna go for quite big power. And we know that even with aftermarket clutches that they can slip. And the reason for that is because no one's been able to get into this gearbox before, no one's been able to increase the clamping pressure to try and help with that slip. So really excited about trying to find a fix around that and getting some really good power out of the M3. So with that red, we now have the raw data we can use for the development on the TCU. We will do a separate video on that once we have developed that product. But for now, let's jump onto the F90M5 and show you how fast this tool can flash via OBD. So we're just in the engine bay of our F90M5. I did say we're gonna show you the OBD test on this one, but um, I've just realized that we put OBD lock so no one can read the ECU out. So what we're gonna do is show you the bench read on this car and then we'll show you OBD read on one of our other cars. So here you can see I've just pinned the ECU. So you just unplug the existing plugs off the ECU. The ECU remains in the car. You don't have to open it or anything. There is one, two, three, four, five pins which just slot in. So there's no physical change to the actual ECU itself. I've got the B-Flash unit plugged in. Select the right ECU, which is the MG1 STO1MS. And then I'll go to bench protocol and then identify. Once that's done, I can then set up a read. So now I'll proceed to read the ECU. You can see the status bar going up at the bottom. Okay, so that's pretty quick. It's read that in one minute and four seconds. And what we can do just for demonstration purposes is write the same file back in. As you can see, the tool has recognized that we're writing the same file that is already in it, so it skipped a lot of the processes, but this is just for demonstration purposes to show you how bench mode works. So now we've shown you how to do a bench read and write and shown you how non-intrusive it is. So now we can go over and show you what the OVD read and write process is like. So now we're back in the M2 and we're going to show you how the B-Flash works uh, tuning via OBD. So I've got the program open here need to go to the programming section, click BMW, and then select the right ECU for this. So this M2 is an N55, so that's what we want. And then it's got three options on the right-hand side, OBD, bench, or boot. So we're gonna use OBD this time. I'll go ahead, switch the ignition on, and click identify. 
Okay, so that's identified the EC. We can go ahead and read that. Okay, so that's downloaded a virtual file from B Flash's service. There's no way to actually read the ECU out from the OBD port. So what it does is it has a look at what software version you're running and it downloads an original file so you can then tune that and load it back into the car. So we're going to load in a tune file now and show you that operation. Okay, now we've prepared the tune file, we can show that actually being programmed back into the car. So go into B Flash software and select write program ECU select the tune file and we will load that in yes so because this ECU has been programmed before it is unlocked so this process will take a little bit less time than it normally would do so we've shown you the different ways that B Flash can program ECUs now we're going to show you how it can data log so to do that I'm going to jump in the GLC 63 we have in for Eventuri development and show you how the data logging works so we're set up in the GLC 63, we've got the B flash plugged into the OBD port, we've got the laptop on the side here, so I'm just going to go into the data logging section, which is the measurement section, so make a measurement, and you can see all the different cars it can log, Ferrari, McLaren, BMW, uh, Mercedes-Benz, so we're just going to go into Mercedes-Benz, MED-17. So when you go into the data logging screen, it will automatically select certain parameters. But if you want, you can go in and select other ones. So it does the important ones. What we're going to do as well is mass airflow, because that's important for us to see how well the intake is working. And I'm going to do actual gear as well, just to help us clean up the data afterwards. So now that that is ready, we can go ahead and start the data log. So that's what it looks like on the main screen. It's got all the parameters on the left hand side and it will show the values on the right hand side when we click start. And now I can go ahead and data log it and then we can look at the results afterwards. So I've been out data logging in the car and we can actually have a look at the data within the tool itself, which is useful because if you're using another tool to log, you have to switch this off and then load the other software up and take a look at it. So it actually shows you the graph here and you can select what data you want to look at, which is very useful for when you're doing development tuning and when you just want to check that a car has taken the tune correctly. For even Chewy, it's very useful for us to look at the air intake temperature, the mass airflow and the wastegate position so we can make sure that the intake is doing what it is meant to be doing. So we've data logged the car and we've shown you what the data looks like within the B Flash software itself. It shows it in graphical format and it's very quick to reference. If you wanted to look at it in more detail, you can export that data in CSV format and look at it in something like DataZap. If you want to look at what that looks like as an output, you can check out our super video we did on the CSF heat exchanger where we data logged the car stock and data logged it with the heat exchanger on and showed you the difference in terms of how the heat exchanger was working. Overall, we've had this tool for the last couple of weeks and it's been really useful in terms of the way it flashes the ECUs and the data logging it provides on the non-BMWs for us. And I think it's a really good tool. Hope you found this video interesting. It's a bit different to what we normally do, but we thought it'd just be a bit useful and interesting to show you an insight video rather than our normal product videos. Thank you for watching guys. Um, if you want to watch more of our videos, you can watch them over here. If you want to watch what YouTube suggests that you might like from our videos, you can watch them over here. Um, as always, if you haven't already, please like our video and subscribe to our channel. If you've got any questions for us, please drop them in the comments below and we'll do our best to answer them for you.